Yo guys, what's up? I'm the Original Gamer and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about how to make every single island you can visit in Animal Crossing New Horizons a Tarantula Island. Now, if you guys don't know why I'm making this video, that's because one of the quickest ways to make bells in Animal Crossing New Horizons is by collecting and selling tarantulas. Whereas in the past games, you would usually just sell beetles. Well, I haven't really found any beetles in this one, so tarantulas are my go-to choice of bugs. So one tarantula sells for 8,000 bells at Timmy and Tommy's shop, and if you leave them in Timmy and Tommy's drop-off box, they're about 6,000 bells, I believe, which I would just wait to sell it to them in person so you get the extra 2,000 bells, but that's just me. Now first off, what you're going to want to do is make sure you have enough Nook Miles to buy a Nook Miles ticket. And before you embark to the random island, make sure you have some inventory space because you're most likely going to want to get a full inventory of just tarantulas. Trust me, it'll help out a lot in the long run. Now the only items I take with myself to the islands are my shovel, axe, ladder, pole vault, and the net. You won't really need the fishing rod or slingshot because uh, you're really just going to be catching tarantulas. Also make sure you take some extra wood, sticks, and iron so you, just in case your tools break you'll still be able to make some more to chop down trees and stuff. So once you go to the island you want to make sure that there is a decent amount of land space. Make sure there aren't too many rivers flowing through the island because then that'll just make the tarantulas spawn in less since less of the island is occupied by land. So just want to make sure you have yourself a good amount of land. The example I'm showing here is one of the examples where there is not much land, but it still ended up working pretty well in the end. So what you're going to do is you're going to make sure you get every single item off of the grassy areas where the tarantulas could spawn. So you're going to want to chop down every single tree, take all the petals off every flower, remove every single, and I mean every single, weed. And also make sure you deroot the tree stumps and deroot the flowers also. Now your inventory may be full of all this random stuff but you're gonna want to uh, toss all those items on the beach because tarantulas don't spawn on beaches. Also chop down all the coconut trees on the beach because bugs could potentially spawn on them and you don't want that. The reason we're doing this is because every single item on the land occupies the spot a tarantula could potentially spawn on. So we want to increase that chance of their spawning by removing every single item so there are more spots for them to spawn on. So once you have everything removed, it took me about 10 minutes since there wasn't much land space on mine. It took me about 10 minutes. It should take about 10 to 20 minutes. You're going to want to run around the island for about 5 minutes. It took me about 5 minutes for them to spawn in. Uh, you're going to want to scare away any bugs that aren't tarantulas. Like run up to them so they run away uh, just so you could get another bug to spawn in. And it may take a while, but eventually tarantulas will start spawning in pretty frequently. Another thing you're going to want to make sure of is there are these platforms of rocks up above the beach that wharf roaches could spawn on and you're going to want to scare those away because they also occupy an entity on the island that tarantulas could spawn on. So you're going to want to scare every single bug away just so you can get those tarantulas to spawn. Now here are a few little tricks to catch tarantulas. There are three different ways that I've done it. I'm sure there are many other ways but the three ways that I know that pretty much work and one main way, as pretty much what everyone does, is you sneak up to it. If you notice when you walk close to a tarantula, it kind of lifts up its front legs to kind of scare you. Uh, you're going to want to slowly creep up to it, and whenever it lifts up his legs, you stand still. Then when it puts him down, you creep closer and just repeat that until you get close enough to swing your net at it. That takes a bit more time than the other methods I'm about to talk to you about, uh, but it is a safe way of doing it. The next method is a bit more daredevilish, as uh, it requires you to run straight up to the tarantulas. <laughs> so you're going to want to run straight up to the tarantulas and when they jump, just dart the opposite way, run away from them because you can outrun them. So just run a little bit ahead and once you feel like they're far enough, you're going to turn around and swing your net to catch them. Uh, I did that for the longest time until I just found out about this next method. So the next method is an extremely daredevilish way of doing it, but it works the most for me. So, if you notice, whenever you encounter a tarantula and get too close to it, it does a little hop, then it starts running at you. So, what you do is you sprint directly to the tarantula, and as soon as it does the hop, you swing the net, 
and it's the perfect distance for you to uh, catch it almost every single time unless you do it in a different direction or there's an object in your way. But that is a very helpful method that I ended up doing and I caught majority of my tarantulas by doing that. So I ended up catching 23 tarantulas and I took those home with me and I made a pretty hefty amount of cash. So I took it to Timmy and Tommy and I made about 180,000 bills, which was whew, a lot more than I thought I was going to make. But, you know, it really helped me pay off those loans because now I only have 60,000 more bells to go. So guys, that was it for this short little tutorial video on how to get Tarantula Islands in Animal Crossing New Horizons. This works on, from my experience, every island I've traveled to. I haven't really encountered any islands it hasn't worked on, so... Um, if it doesn't work on any islands, just let me know down in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm the Original Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.